name is uh, Blair Jones. I'm from Kamloops, BC. Uh, I'm 22 and uh, I am a, a mountain biker. And uh, this is actually my new mountain bike. It's called a Four Cross. It's a four wheel monster. It'll come munch up the trails when you want to go and have some fun. And uh, I love doing it. Blair epitomizes the spirit of mountain biking and is one of the most inspiring riders we've had the pleasure to meet on our tour. He has taken his injury and defeated its boundaries. He rides hard and represents the sport he loves with a positive attitude every day. To meet him on the street, you would say he is just another victim of an unfortunate circumstance. But to speak to him will change that attitude right away and maybe even get you inspired to get on a bike yourself. Right now, he is in training to represent Canada at the Paralympics 2010, and we are pleased to introduce to you Blair Jones. Pushing too hard. Give it. Love it. I started racing bikes since I went when I was five, and I actually raced BMX for 13 years. And then when we came into the cameras, when the mountain bike scene really came out, caught my attention, and I was just like, wow. I want to try this. These bikes look cool. And uh, from, from there, I just started advancing up in, in uh, riding levels. Um, my fourth year of riding, I had just turned pro. And uh, that was the same year that I broke my back, uh, June 26, 02. And uh, here I am today, uh, sitting here doing what I love to do. Before his injury, um, I had every confidence in his skills and his abilities. Um, we always tried to make sure he was riding good equipment, wasn't necessarily the best, but um, he took good care of the, uh, the equipment. And uh, you know, I won't, I won't forget the day that we got the phone call that said he had uh, gone down. On the, uh, on the day of my crash, um, just what was going through my head, from what I remember, um, we went up, had a look, just went down, checked everything else, and then uh, just did, did 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 a couple speed checks. And uh, after 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 the speed checks, I was like, "Kate, you know, I feel confident. I, I know it." And uh, from there, I don't remember anything just from from the actual injury because it uh, had knocked me out. Uh, grade three concussion, brain was swollen and bleeding. And if I didn't have the full face helmet on, I couldn't, who knows if, if I'd even be here, be here today. But I'm glad to be here, you know. Uh, we used to actually be on the same racing team when I first started riding. He was uh, already kind of a seasoned veteran of racing. Um, for the old Java Cycle team, which was a uh, shop in Kamloops. And um, yeah, we rode on the same team for a while, and he was actually quite fast. Um, it's a real shame that that happened, but it's good to have him around still. You know, he's out there, he's trying his best. He's got uh, his downhill wheelchair, which is a pretty cool thing. Um, you don't see that too often, and I'm sure a lot of people will be pretty amazed what he can do on it. To this day, after injury, I, I think he's still uh, Got the burn in him, and he still wants to uh, to be out there with the rest of the guys and uh, and be doing what he uh, what he loves the most. Blair's natural skill is obvious, and he loves to experiment while riding his four cross chair. Considering his latest toy is relatively new, he has taken to it like a fish to water. So much so, he took third place in his first ever four cross competition at Whistler during the Crankworks Festival.
he loves being on his bike, any kind of a bike. Being in a wheelchair um, ha itself hasn't been the struggle for him because it's like being on a bike. I adapted real quickly. Um, uh, as my dad had said to a couple people when I was in GF Strong doing, doing uh, rehab in Vancouver, um, he, he had said that I wouldn't be around there long enough for them even to, to get to know me. And, uh, and that was almost how the circumstance was. Uh, I was there for two and a half, maybe, maybe three months. And I just pushed myself every day, you know, I get out of bed, go, go for wheels. There's one hill that they called the, the hard hill to push up. And well, what I did, I had to master a wheelie to top the bottom three times in a row before I go back in. You know, I'll be pushing up that hill 10, 15 times before I can get it three wheels, three wheelies, you know, perfect three times. After you get that, you know, you just, it's like, yeah, let's go inside. He jumps over the littlest thing and I see him spilling out of his chair and I used to go oh, and I'd run to him and he kept saying, Mom, don't do that. So now I just turn away. If he's riding an escalator in the shopping mall or going down the flight of stairs, I just turn. He could fall, but... Fresh air, the openness gives me my freedom. Uh, it, it, it puts me in my, in my place where I can come out and enjoy what I like to do, be out with all of my friends, meet new friends, help people if they need help with their riding, do whatever I can do, but mo most of all, it's, it's, it's my happy place. That there puts the biggest smile on my face and you can make me a uh, happy guy. The future is looking bright for this athlete with plans for lots of action, contests and projects to bring awareness to people who have suffered similar injuries. Blair truly brings an inspirational note to the things he does and with such an upbeat outlook on life, how can you not be inspired? Well, someone that is in my situation uh, that has a, a disability, I would tell them straight up, don't let the injury take the best of you take the best of it. And that's right there flat what I, I would tell them. That, that, that there just takes a whole paragraph and sums it up in a couple words.